It's uh, uh, my honor to, to speak today about the uh, importance of uh, enabling the younger generation to touch the leading science and innovation and, and how they should be used to create a better and a sustainable uh, city. Yeah, so um, thanks for the event organizer, uh, BIEA. Yeah, so, uh, so I'm grateful for, for your effort during the past uh, so many years of uh, contributing to, to the education sector to help the young uh, generation. So uh, uh, my name is uh, Yu Xiong and uh, I'm a associate vice president for University of Surrey and uh, I look after the external partnership. Uh, and uh, uh, also I'm also the director of the uh, Academy for Blockchain and Metaverse uh, in University of uh, Surrey. So by the way, I also chair the advisory board of all party parliament group, uh, Metaverse and Web3. So we also, also organize the regular sessions to help the younger generation. So uh, I'm also on the all party parliament group uh, on blockchain uh, as a board. Uh, so basically, um, uh, via different vehicles, I'm, I'm glad of that I have been working with uh, uh, colleagues uh, in the parliament or in higher education or in industry uh, to, to uh, organize different activities, just like uh, what uh, uh, BIEA uh, did in the past uh, few years. Yeah. So, um, uh, so I think um, uh, today it's very essential for, for young people to keep pace with the most uh, leading technology. I would say that, uh, 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 to be honest, this is a very critical time uh, for younger generation to touch the most, uh, at least two very outstanding uh, top, uh, topic, yeah, which is uh, uh, blockchain and also uh, AI, open AI, chat GTP, yeah. So I think that um, um, uh, this two technology is very, very, very special. Uh, traditionally, the education is from the elder generation to the younger generation. Yeah. But uh, this two technology, it's uh, the other way around. It's the younger generation to teach us so how to do blockchain, how to use uh, blockchain. And uh, uh, I remember my colleague in University of Surrey, many professors are complaining to say their, their younger generation are teaching them something they can not understand. Yeah? So I think now, but um, how the government, the parliament should uh, respond to this because uh, the younger generation is the future not only for this city, but every city, they will be uh, helping. So, uh, well, I think um, uh, uh, for younger generation, it's uh, uh, a time uh, to guide them properly because some technologies, they are not harnessed. They, they, they may be very dangerous, you know, <laughs> like uh, AI. So how we can regulate them and, uh, and get rid of the, 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 the risk, yeah. So, of course, some universities, they said, oh, simple, we just ban chat GDP, we just, uh, 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 some countries said, oh, we just ban Web3 and the crypto and the, and the blockchain. But uh, I think that, uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, in my research team, I encourage my students to use ChatGPT because they should have more time to, to use the crea creative part of their brain, yeah, not the, the memory part. You know? So the skills and the knowledge, they may not no longer be uh, uh, important, you know, so it's the, the creative, innovative part of your brain will be more important in the next age. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, one critical aspect of building sustainable uh, cities, actually it's uh, uh, how we see the view of the, uh, the, the, the role of technologies. So, so as I said that uh, we need to harness the power of technology uh, and uh, uh, blockchain is a very uh, influential tool because this enable people to be more powerful because uh, you can own you, you may not need a bank to to keep your asset because you can load your, all your asset on, on, on blockchain yeah so and this can enable uh, decentralization yeah. so uh, so that people originally rely on the centralized body to give you credit for example we have uh, we only buy things from eBay, Amazon because they are centralized and they store all the sellers' data. You trust the data because they are stored in centrally. But now blockchain, so everybody can, just like a Bitcoin, you don't need to trust any central bank, you know. So I, actually I was talking to a member of the all party parliament group uh, of central bank and the digital currency this morning and uh, they are uh, working on this. Uh, so, 
uh, I think that, um, uh, uh, so all this concept we should uh, push into the mind of uh, the younger gener uh, generation. Yeah. So actually, I remember in 2021, uh, I published a paper uh, called, um, it's talking about um, uh, a blockchain and the sustainability and the carbon emission. Uh, so this, this paper published in Nature Communication is one of the uh, most influential journals in nature. Uh, and um, it's received uh, the impact of more than about, uh, they call the auto metrics to measure one uh, research's impact. So it's almost reached uh, 2,000. Even papers in nature normally reach 100, 200, or 500 most, you know. But uh, this paper, because of blockchain and uh, the sustainability, yeah, it's a key things. So in this paper, we tell the public that uh, the Bitcoin consumption of carbon uh, it's uh, more than a country, many middle-sized country. So then BBC put that research as one of the 26 research for COP26. Uh, so it's the highest uh, impact paper in the world currently, uh, academic paper. Uh, so I'm glad that, um, uh, that uh, the society responds to my call for looking at uh, the sustainability side of the blockchain. Uh, so uh, apart from uh, this, uh, as I said, that uh, AI, it's another important topic. AI will help to optimize our city's service, like uh, the public transportation, like uh, waste management, energy consumption. And uh, so we use AI-powered algorithm. Now it uh, sometimes can perform much better than, than human. And uh, I must admit that uh, uh, for today's talk, okay, so I'm 50 to 60%, I got help from Chad GTP. Yeah. Yeah. So, because that, uh, yeah, 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 so, but of course, we're integrated with my own knowledge, yeah. So, uh, so when I was the first invited to this talk, because uh, I have uh, several um, projects to look after, but uh, I feel more relieved because uh, I think about, oh, I have a personal assistant with the chat GDP can help me, so that uh, I say, happily said, uh, yes, but uh, if uh, without these tools, I will say, Sorry, I cannot uh, make it because I have uh, uh, several million pounds of research project I need to, uh, the proposal I need to finish, and uh, one project I need to complete that project. Yeah, so, so it's important to note that young people today are already exploring and using these technologies, and so they are, they are growing in a very different age compared to my generation or even the older generation. So that's why uh, last month uh, I collected about 40 students in committee room, uh, committee, G, committee room G in House of Lords. So bring them together to talk about the Web3 from the school students and uh, let them aware that uh, there is uh, um, uh, uh, some technology that uh, come, they can learn from now, not uh, waiting for after graduation, then go to companies and start to look at it. So the knowledge have to be installed with them now. And uh, for example, I have uh, a project called uh, uh, Tower Link. Uh, so I already uh, I developed the platform and uh, I want to uh, reduce the burden of students and also the teacher. So th in this platform, we make good use of uh, chat GTP and uh, the student will uh, get assistance. Once the teacher gives an assignment title, and uh, the, the, this system will help them to, to help the student find the keyword, helps the student find the reference, but the student also input their own knowledge, understanding. So it's become a closed loop, so we can supervise what is contributed by the AI, what is contributed by the student, and for the whole uh, process. Mm -hmm. And in the same uh, uh, system, so we can enable a teacher to mark it, mark the assignment within five seconds. So originally, I, I can tell you, you can ask any possible university uh, professors and uh, what you hate most, and everybody will tell you it's marking. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I have to jump between <laughs> universities. I work for University of East Anglia, Los Embra, York, Queen's University. It's pure group because that when, every time I jump a university, they give me less teaching node mm -hmm. and less marking node. Yeah. So, but here I'm very happy in Univers University of Surrey. They told me I don't need to teach, I don't need to mark, I only need to supervise PhD students. But now I, I created this tool, nobody did marking. Okay, so no matter, no matter whatever the criteria given uh, uh, to the, the AI, 
and the students submit uh, the assignment. So we follow this, the criteria and uh, give a marking in five seconds. So uh, when I tell this, I already have the test version tell to uh, at least seven university professors across the UK. And uh, they are all surprised, shocked by this. And I said, how accurate? They can even more consistent than marking as an assignment by different uh, lectures or teachers, you know. So, so that's why I said the technology comes here to help us. So it's not to stop us. And our, and our ge younger generation, they should be aware of this power of uh, uh, technology. Yeah. So, uh, and also in the uh, meantime, I want to uh, bring uh, uh, blockchain and uh, uh, AI technology also to social, not only within the university, it's an uh, uh, isolated, separate place. I want to break the wall uh, from the Albrecht Tower to outside. So I'm working with the Tower Hamlet uh, Council and also Baroness Woodin, Paula Woodin, yeah, yeah, and uh, we create a skill center in Tower Hamlet. So we aim to train uh, like 5,000 uh, young people, net them to see uh, what is Web3, mentorism, and uh, provide this skill training uh, free of charge. Uh, so because that, uh, I, I would like to let you know that uh, the system I created, Tarling, and also the relevant technology from the sector can reduce the education cost to 1% of uh, the original cost. So, yeah, so we can push the new knowledge to uh, uh, our younger generation without huge cost, even 1% of the original cost. And uh, we can not only push it to this city, we can push it to Africa, to other uh, uh, region that uh, uh, whoever need this uh, new knowledge. Yeah. So, well, basically this is uh, uh, things I want to uh, hear today. And uh, I really think one thing, so for, for uh, BIEA, so for the uh, science and the technology commission, uh, competition, which is uh, uh, very important because competition is a way that uh, we can uh, 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 gather about uh, the innovative ideas together to support each other so that uh, there is uh, 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 creativity uh, we can support, we can have uh, uh, encourage people. Yeah, so I think um, uh, uh, if there is any lead from this organization, either uh, my support or my university support, I'm very happy to, to work with you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Fantastic.